Hello, my name is Abby Natilli, and I did my presentation on Maxis, which is a video game developer. A little history behind Maxis, it was founded in 1987 by Will Wright and Jeff Braun. The first game was SimCity, made in 1989. The SimCity franchise continued for years until the Sims franchise took over. They joined with Electronic Arts, more so Electronic Arts bought them out. But in 2000, the first The Sims game released, and it was the most popular game series of their company, which I'm sure you all know what The Sims is. And Maxis is known for simulation games. That's basically what every single one of their games is. This is just a quick look at what their logos used to be back in 1987 and throughout the years. And then you can see the present one now. Some general background about Maxis, their headquarters is stationed in California, and their CEOs are Rachel Franklin and Andrew Wilson. Their highest revenue franchise would be The Sims, but specifically their highest revenue game would be The Sims 4, with over $1 billion in revenue and 70 million players worldwide. And fun fact, Maxis is actually credited for creating the simulation video game genre. This is Maxis's mission statement I found on their website. It basically just encourages everyone to be creative throughout their games, but specifically in The Sims 4. They did, however, have a lot of other notable games other than The Sims and The Sims 4, one of them being the SimCity franchise that I mentioned earlier. You can see on the side that's all the installments of the games they've had over the years. This was the one that kickstarted their business and got them on everyone's radar, like EA, everybody. And it can be played across almost every platform and console. You can find it on Nintendo, DS, computer, Switch, that sort of thing. Another notable game they had in franchise was the Spore franchise, which is a little bit different from their other two. And there's nine total in this, and I found the best way to describe it. It's just straight from their website. The game is basically, with Spore, you can nurture your creature through five stages of evolution, cell, creature, tribe, civilization, and space. Or if you prefer, spend as much time as you like making creatures, vehicles, buildings, and spaceships with Spore's unique creator tools. So it's sort of like The Sims, but you're making, like, monsters. And as I mentioned, the most notable game would be all the Sims franchise. There's four main games, The Sims 1 through 4. There's been 106 expansion packs throughout these games so far, and they're still making more. Some other Sims games that aren't the main ones would be things like My Sims Kingdom, The Sims Medieval. You can see them on the side. They have the same sort of premise, like you're playing as a character and going through a simulation. It's just differently formatted than the main games. Some current news and trends for Maxis. There's not that much going on. They're mostly focusing on The Sims 4. There's been new expansion packs that have come out this year, and there's one set to come out, I think, December 4th. And then The Sims 5 is in the works. There's no official date yet, but some people speculate that it'll come out within the next couple years. Some controversies Maxis has seen over the past couple years, Sims fans are getting annoyed with money grabs of expansion packs that don't really add anything to the game. They're sort of pushing just for the new Sims 5 game to come out. And in 2015, Electric Arts actually shut down and consolidated the Maxis branch, but continued to uphold marketing for the Sims and SimCity franchises. This was due to the botched and very hated release of the 2013 reboot of the original SimCity game. So now Maxis more so lives on a brand rather than its own company. There isn't many potentials for esports in the Maxis branch throughout their games just because of the format of their games being simulation. But in summer 2020, there was an esports competition where 12 contestants competed in challenges to show off their Sims 4 skills. But it was more so structured as like a reality competition show. Overall, I knew most of this information just because I've played The Sims my whole life. But what I found the most interesting was just the sheer amount of games that Maxis put out for each of their franchises. But I believe their company and their franchises are so successful because it was the first of its kind in the simulation genre. And it has that storytelling element to it that keeps players wanting to come back. And there's no end to their games, which allows players to keep making new worlds and having new experiences. And then these last two slides are just my references for the presentation.